Imagine a vehicle that fits in your garage like a king-size bed, charges at a wall outlet, requires no pilot's license, and lets you soar over traffic at 60 miles per hour. This is the promise of the Leo Solo, a personal EVTOL that's an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft pitched as the world's first jet bike. It's a vision of the future, and it's now available for pre-order. But to understand the Leo Solo is to understand the fascinating and almost paradoxical duo behind it. A story of unbridled invention clashing with sleek, practical design for years. His company, Electric Jet, has been a whirlwind of prototypes. From jetpacks and matching jet boots to flying vehicles that, in his own early prototypes, frankly resembled a lawn chair strapped to a collection of trash barrels. His personal YouTube is a treasure trove of thrilling, minute-long test videos that often showcase what aviation experts politely call dynamic instability with a tendency to cut right before things get truly interesting. Bitter is a prolific tinkerer with 18 patents, a man who embodies the spirit of, let's build it and see if it flies. Consequences and OSHA regulations be damned. Into this creative storm stepped Carlos Salaf in 2021, a former Mazda designer who was instrumental in creating some of the brand's most celebrated concept cars. Like the Negarai and Ferrari, Salaf is the embodiment of aesthetic refinement. His passion project after leaving Mazda was hand-building his own supercar, a testament to his belief in living sculpture and timeless analog details. His role at EO Flight is essentially to ensure that the future of flight doesn't look like it was assembled in a scrapyard. Bitter supplies the chaotic genius and obsession with electric microjet thrust. Salaf supplies the philosophy that a flying vehicle shouldn't look like a lawn chair strapped to a bunch of trash barrels. According to the company's website, it's a propeller-free, single-seat vehicle that uses 48 electric microjets 12 at each corner for propulsion. It's designed to be compact with a 6.5 by 6.5 foot footprint and is being marketed as compliant with FAA Part 103 regulations which would mean no pilot's license is required. The claimed specs are ambitious. A 60 miles per hour top speed, 10 to 15 minutes of flight time, and a noise level of around 80 decibels, which is about the volume of a high-powered vacuum cleaner. The promised price tag is $99,900, with pre-orders available for a fully refundable $999 deposit. The most audacious claim, however, lies in its power source, a solid-state battery. The fundamental challenge for any wingless VTOL aircraft, like the Leo Solo, is disc loading. In simple terms, this is a measure of how efficiently an aircraft generates lift. Conventional helicopters have massive rotors, giving them low disc loading and decent efficiency. The Leo Solo, with its 48 tiny ducted fans, has what experts call astronomically high disc loading. Those fans have to spin furiously to move enough air to push the machine and pilot skyward, which burns a tremendous amount of energy. This physics reality is the primary reason for the very short 10 to 15 minute flight time. The reliance on a non-commercially available solid state battery to achieve even this performance raises a massive red flag. It's a bet on a technological miracle arriving just in time for production. The Leo Solo is a symbol of a much broader movement in the EVTOL world, where hundreds of startups are racing to create the next generation of personal air taxes. The industry is a marathon, not a sprint, facing immense hurdles in regulation, battery technology, and public acceptance. The Leo Solo, with its no license required proposition, is aiming for the very extreme of the personal mobility market. It represents a tantalizing dream, the ultimate toy for the wealthy early adopter. But it also sits at the intersection of a proven dreamer with a history of unfinished projects and a world-class designer trying to bring focus to the chaos. The real question is whether this particular partnership 
and transform Pete Bitter's fascinating. Unstable Tinkerer's Dream into Carla Salas Reliable. Production-ready work of art. The future of personal flight might be arriving. But if the story of the Leo Solo teaches us anything, it's that we should keep our eyes wide open and our expectations firmly on the ground.